So hello to all the viewers. With me, I have uh, Dr. Arjun Haridas, uh, who has secured an amazing rank of 48 in the MPSS Medical Group Entrance Exam. So Arjun, rank 48 national level, uh, what is the feeling right now? Um, sir, if you ask me for one word, I'd say overwhelmed. Okay. All right. So I know that yesterday we had a chat over phone as well. Uh, initially, you were not believing the results, but uh, you know you have checked it at least ten times, right? Maybe more. Uh, yeah, and I believe you have checked it for me also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sent me the roll number as well, and I also <laughs> checked it for you. All right. So amazing rank because see, uh, rank forty-eight. The member, the viewers, you should understand that this is actually a combined exam. That means. Those who are targeting cardio, neuro, nephro, endocrine, gastro, all the medical specialities, they are giving one medical group exam and getting a rank of 48 is such a big, big achievement at the national level. So uh, Arjun, starting with, uh, tell the viewers uh, from where you are. Yes, we know personally for a long time, but still uh, on an official note, please uh, let the know, uh, viewers know from which college you did your MBBS and MD from. Um, actually, I'm from Kerala. Uh, I did my MBBS from Government Medical College, Trishul. And my uh, MD General Medicine from Government Medical College, Trivandrum. Okay. All right. So, uh, see, first question I'll ask you is regarding the uh, question paper this time. See, there was definite uncertainty. Arjun, if you can summarize in one minute, how was the overall question paper of the first ever NEET SS Medical Group exam? Uh, I would say maybe a Jugal Bandi. Jugal Bandi. <laughs> Why do you say so? <laughs> because there was everything, but uh, if we go deep into it, uh, there was a level beyond which there was nothing. Okay. So they tried to keep it as an average paper mm -hmm. and uh, some questions maybe as uh, medicine residents or practicing physicians, we might all think highly of our specialty, right? Uh, we might think, okay, medicine, it's a medicine paper. So the, uh, only uh, questions above some um, some imaginary level would come for a medicine exam, but uh, they proved us wrong. Uh, I thought there was there were questions about basic Mendelian inheritance, uh, inheritance patterns and everything. So we have no paper, we have no pen. So we have to draw the chart in our mind. But when we try to attempt such a question, we realize that we have lost many skills that as uh, neat PG students we had. So, uh, in three or four years, uh, we have uh, conveniently forgotten many basic things which they scraped out and uh, they tried to check. Okay. And so uh, I personally felt that we can't restrict things to uh, one book or one pattern of learning or anything. They can ask anything which is the beauty of medicine and which is the uh, problem also. Yeah. So you're absolutely right, because this time, uh, this is a common feedback that majority of the candidates who gave the exam, they came out with that. See, uh, the exam pattern was slightly more factual, but the distribution of topics or questions were from many, many areas. And some of them were core factual. Uh, some of the questions which might remind you of your neat PG medicine. Would you agree with that, Arjun? Yes, of course, completely. Yeah, because sometimes what happens is when some candidates prepare for a super specialty entrance exam, they would think, okay, questions will be asked only from a particular level above because it is a super specialty entrance. But as you rightly said, there was no such level. Even there were very simple questions also. And yes, some medium range question and some tough range question. So it's very important for candidates preparing for the subsequent exams to prepare for a good range of questions. See, this paper was more factual, but do not come to a firm conclusion that the next paper is also going to be very factual because that can be very much okay. clinical also because the last paper was like that. So uh, what will be your advice to juniors preparing if you are asked, okay, uh, what is the pattern that you are expecting for the subsequent years and what, subsequent exam, what will be your advice on that? Uh, sir, as uh, your junior and your student, I would like to say that uh, we, um, 
typical candidate would have to think uh, as a medicine pg should i be knowing this or not i think that would be a better thing to sort out because uh, okay if this is given in harrison okay maybe it is in a, some corner uh, some unrelated fact okay okay maybe this might come as a question okay it might come but i think that probability is more that you see a question and you think okay being a medicine pg or if i am not able to uh, attend this it is a fault on my part that would be a more realistic situation in the exam hall because everything we have we had heard everything there was not a single question that uh, we were not aware of like we know the subject we have heard everything but when we think more about it we would feel like okay i knew this but somewhere along the line i forgot that okay. uh, so it would i uh, uh, i think uh, or maybe 80% of questions was from um, harrison itself okay. uh, but beyond that uh, i think it would be a, a better thing to let your common sense guide you um, and um, i mentioned your name because uh, when you take a class you uh, pay more attention to make people aware that this is not a theoretical thing this is a more of a clinical thing that is put in a theoretical way so that we always have to think from the clinics back to the theory so the required theory we should be able to um, retain um, because uh, reading everything retaining everything is an utopian concept nobody can do that and um, personally i felt that your style would be good for the upcoming exam also because we have to not what is clinically good what is clinically relevant and what is theoretically relevant enough for that clinical thing to be retained in our minds so, so uh, yeah. we also the, thought you, that yeah um, may, maybe um, the uh, medicine pg exit level exam it, it would be mostly based on harrison only um, and it was not like that there were questions from everywhere uh, questions from sources that we don't even know from where they put it and there was even um, controversies regarding the correct answers also okay so but everything was thinkable everything was doable uh, it was just you know, that we have always heard of this topic uh, there was no question that is totally out of medicine but ah, totally out of there okay all right and uh, regarding doc tutorials you have watched the video lectures you have watched the question bank so what is your general take on the video lectures uh i felt that um uh, okay actually uh, when we were in a dilemma like situation like what the pattern would be uh, would it be based on hats and uh, would it be from the previous question banks we knew nothing so uh, when uh, doc was in the forefront uh, it was actually a ray of hope i should say a ray of hope or uh, rather from last year when we compare the situation i always feel like when there is totally darkness around when you get a ray of light you can just follow it but when there is light all around you don't know where to go that was the situation because we know what is going to come but we don't know what to study there is everything you have many sources so uh, doc was more showing a uh, right path so where to go how to revise the video lectures were also more concentrated like okay this you need to know but um, maybe not for this exam for this exam this much you need to know this much you have to be thorough and the all teachers kept uh, repeatedly saying that okay this year it is going to be a more of a harrison based exam so uh, this much you need to know very thoroughly and if needed if interested you can also go for a one level higher so segregation is very important as uh, as for a general paper rather than a specialty paper Uh, maybe for inass the uh, specialty pack would be better because um, i personally did, uh, did not go that much deep into the subjects i know that uh, the video lectures are vast and uh, if a candidate is preparing for inass they can go up to whatever level they want in the program but i personally could not complete everything uh, but as i said the segregation was very good and uh, in the end when we got a complete revision package uh, if we uh, i personally feel that if we are asked to put a time table for ourselves we are given one month and okay you revise all medicine in one month nobody in the world can put a perfect time table for that and uh, time tables will always be imperfect but even after that 
if somebody puts a correct schedule of revision for us if somebody puts correct examinations for us so we will get uh, full stops in between so this is the time that you can allot for a subject if you are not complete it is better that you revise the important things and move on because if you are stuck in that you are not going to get anywhere so uh, as i said that was a leading light uh, it was not uh, in my um, uh, as, a, as far as i am aware uh, in no other platform no other course they provided such a such an easy path i should say all right so what we basically did in doc also even last time also we made sure that see if you just upload some lectures in the app alone the problem is definitely you can view the lectures but towards the end when you are going to write an exam the last one one and a half months when you want to consolidate everything that is when the difficulty comes so we had done a quick revision program as what you said basically the aim of the quick revision program is to give you a streamlined revision timetable so that you give yourself targets because each of the quick revision session was followed by an exam so see everybody would have gone through that particular topic but to just give yourself a target okay in these three days i should finish reading neurology and then give an exam where many candidates are giving it actually forces you to stick to that timetable because otherwise what can happen is when you start off with some subject and you might drag it you might think okay i should learn something and then you know, yeah it never what you say is exactly correct because um we all have personal favorites yeah. and in a subject of our concern if it is our favorite we are going to spend maybe one month or two months studying that subject and we are going to just ignore the one that we are not fav- uh, fond of that would have been a better pattern till last year but now it is just like neat pg you have to study everything because question is going to come from everywhere so you did a wonderful job i should i should congratulate you sir also uh, for setting such a time table and making it work and uh, what about the exams like you have given majority of the uh, question bank the test series and the gts as well so what were your approximate ranks in the grand test and was it matching with the actual ranks that you got uh, my grand test marks the highest rank that i would uh, i would say around 20 so 20 or 21 and um, uh, sometimes i went down till 60 70 no so it was in between okay so you know you roughly landed in between also so how was it writing an exam with majority of the candidates i think you know who are prospective aspirants for the ss they would be giving this grant test so how did you find the competition okay knowing that okay you are in this particular range and uh, how did that help you um uh, one thing that uh, actually i have a study i had a study partner also dr rohit uh and and we used to so doc was a reference range i should say so we used to uh, think about okay um, maybe his rank would come up my rank would go down but there was an average always and uh, i'm happy to see that in a doc test uh, the people whose names we noted they are all in the topers list also so what we felt the doc was a perfect sample size i should say of a national scenario and uh maybe each test people will be writing okay maybe 7000 or 8000 people are writing so uh, among that people who are very seriously pursuing uh, their exam uh, i think most of them were in the doc tutorial sample also so it was a very real time experience and uh, even the extrapolation might not be a good thing but we will get to know where we are Okay. Uh, and when we compare with others we can also see that okay these people are maintaining their ranks uh, i am not doing that so there is something that i should do to push myself forward uh, that is a great inspiration also okay all right so uh, having got this wonderful rank 48 now uh, just if you uh, look at your preparation uh, over the last few years uh, what you know you want to tell your teachers in your mbbs and md days because they are your formative years and uh, what do you want to tell them uh so i think uh, we all need uh, so much inspiration to uh, keep walking this path 
just like you and if maybe you are doing uh, many much more things that we can ever think of but just to go to a super specialty profession to pursue it uh, needs a lot of encouragement needs a lot of inspiration so uh, and uh, many things might come in between also family uh, and there are other things because we are all 29 30 years of age when we write a super specialty exam to keep on going it is not a simple thing so we need to have uh, idols in front of us uh, so uh, personally i have heard yourself uh, saying that uh, the uh, calicut medical college and the uh, staff there the uh, previous hod sir was also a great inspiration for you uh, just like that I, i also have my personal icons uh, whom we have to be proud of and at a time when there was not many super specialty courses uh, there are people who spent a uh, great part of their life pursuing super specialty and making um, making their own name out of it they have set paths for us i don't think if uh, anybody in the future generation can do such great things but we can always um, set ourselves as uh, in the in the path of uh, the idols that we believe in. they are great examples sir. so so what about all its family uh, after yesterday's ranks you know how is the mood in the family <laughs> i was i sir i am just planning to settle in trivandrum um, okay. uh, so my wife is eight months pregnant so <laughs> we are expecting a baby next month okay, okay. so uh, naturally if i can stay here it is yeah. the best thing yeah great all right so uh, so basically summarizing to all the viewers what arjun said first of all regarding the pattern wide range of questions when you prepare for the exam please prepare for all ranges he says around 80 to 85 percentage of the questions from from harrison but again there were questions outside that also and you need to have a good range of preparation easy questions medium range questions tough questions get prepared for everything you cannot just uh, see one exam and just think that okay next exam is just going to reciprocate the same please be prepared for range of questions and he says practice mcqs it's very important to give grand test this is very important because many a times we keep reading because our subject is very vast nobody can confidently say that see i have finished everything i'm very thorough even i am sure that arjun going to the exam the day before if you would have asked him are there areas you have not touched yes there are certain areas or you feel you have forgotten certain areas that is quite natural so but to hold your nerves to have good presence of mind and you know you be cool also because i think you know something about arjun was he does not take too much or does not absorb too much pressure that is from uh, you know what i know about him so i think that often helps because when you have too much burden on your head thinking of so many things i think you are complicating even certain little things also So Arjun, a hearty congratulations! Well deserved rank forty eight, and uh, all the best for your personal and professional life. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sir.